happy folks how are you today sunday getting ready to go do a church service and look what we got going on winter is finally here you know we're gonna go play in the snow and have some fun and creep around because we ain't in no hurry today even though we got six loads um who knows if we'll do them all i got three finleys and three napoleons so i'll creep over to napoleon grab my first load and then i'll uh head over to finley and do all those that way if i got any issues or anything like that i can at least get those ones done and have uh four loads done then come back to the point because i i don't know how 235 is going to be could be nasty so i'm going to blow my fifth wheel off real quick with uh the blower because i already blew the truck off mostly and um forgot to do it while i was out here blow up my tanks and whatnot good that way we don't got a bunch of crap packing up in there because we don't want that and uh it's never good but we should be fine like i said we're just going to creep around i'm the only person running out of napoleon today so they kind of need me and yesterday for some reason they didn't load shit so i didn't work which kind of pisses me off because saturday is always a good day to end the week on you know let's get up in here in the truck already uh blew everything off so it wasn't getting a bunch of snow up in there but now it's kind of trying to not do this stuff you know get it up in here it's gonna happen anyway so let's hook you right up here for now because i gotta do my paperwork real quick so i'm sure we'll be back but uh, yeah it should be fun interesting day it's about um 10 30 ish i think i grab my phone real quick and check but clean the driveway up this morning oh it's 11 already it's 10 after 11. So it's what it is. You know, like I said, I'll just creep around. I gotta get one Finley in by three and I've gotta get an Napoleon in by seven o'clock, which ain't a big deal. So I told the dispatcher I'd let them know if I had any issues. And if I fall off loads, I fall off loads. It's really not a big deal to me and it shouldn't be a big deal to them. But since I am the only one out here running, they kind of need me to do the stuff. But it's what it is. It's they'll get in there someday some hungry people will get out and get them tomorrow the beginning and i will work tomorrow too so i should probably be dealing with this some more but it's only going to snow until about two o'clock so once two's gone it should be fine and i just watched the county plow come down and he was just throwing dust so it's basically fresh powder there's really nothing too bad and they were treating the roads on friday when me and the wife were out with um that uh liquid de-icer stuff so the grind everything should be fine for the main roads it's just the secondary roads will probably be shitty which now just crawl down them like i said ain't in a big hurry so we'll see what happens um i'm gonna do this real quick and fill it out that way I ain't bugging you while i'm trying to talk and focus and then uh i'm sure we'll be back here soon once we get over and do uh maybe some sliding around in the truck maybe we'll do some donuts i don't know we'll find out and see i guess Oh, this just looks beautiful out here with this 
snow on the trees and stuff. Don't look like anybody's coming down the road. Everybody should be at home today, probably. There shouldn't be too much people out, but you never know. And, uh, this thing looks like it's just kind of uh, snow covered. I figured most of the stuff would just blow off the truck that was on the top, which it is. Yeah, this truck does pretty good in the snow. I don't have any complaints with it. It's not like the blue truck. I wouldn't drive the blue truck if it was like this because once I get some weight on that ass in with those, uh, that spring ride, that thing just it doesn't want to turn at all. And the way they got the fifth wheel set up on that when um, the company that I bought it from had moved the fifth wheel back and I've got it shoved all the way forward and I still don't have enough weight on my steers to where you know it's heavy enough to control that whatnot so I just uh, usually don't run it when it gets um, too snowy out and stuff but this thing handles fine since it's got the air right and I slide the tandem so it's not like I got anything to really worry about
that's honestly about the only reason why I wouldn't run, run just to be able to keep the truck clean, but I don't see it drying up anytime soon. So we'll see. Looks like there's some uh, grooves down to where it might not be slinging too much water, but you never know. just hooked up uh, just slid my tandems and stuff did everything I needed to do and um, we're super califrigilistic XBL grocious already and I mean we're trash man we are stinking trash look at that look at those tanks that's disgusting and uh, that mirror's all covered and stuff and I ain't got the heater on that window was just trash too when I was uh look at that if I had to grab that or somebody had grabbed getting in there, they'd be all nasty and dirty and grody. Just gross. That's going to be like this probably for a while too because I don't see any uh, warm temperatures coming to where I'll be able to wash it. But um, yeah, we're gross. Super grody. I'd run into town. Well, run through town. I just got nasty just from running down 24. And then I uh, ran into town real quick and dropped my paperwork off the dispatchers. Yeah, no, that was fun, but it really wasn't as bad as what I thought going through town. This back country road was about like the ones that I came in on from the house. Other than that, main roads seemed to be clear, and even in town they weren't too bad. But my ladder's not as bad. I can grab up there and I'm fine to uh, do the stuff, and my mirror's clear, so it's all good in the neighborhood. But yeah, we're just uh, getting ready to get started so we can get these loads in and make some money and kick off my feet. So I got a big old puddle of water down there, but I do got this nice mat to catch everything. So hopefully uh, we don't get too soaked and it ain't too nasty. But that's what it is. 
I uh, made sure everything's good. You know, the lock jaws and everything for the fifth wheel. When I um, kicked her down, we just locked in there a pin. And we'll forward, give her a tuggy. Yeah, give her the tuggy. Now we can go. So, should be an exciting day. Not really, but like I said, we'll just creep around. Uh, kind of kicked out a little bit up here and then slid forward when I was getting right back into this, but nothing major. And this is, you know, you can see the ice and stuff under the snow that there's a guy in a big cat unit plowing stuff around. I don't know if you call that a spreader or what. I don't know. But uh, at least they're getting some of the crap out of there. There you go. A little slidage. Get out of there. And that's why we're creeping. Now you know how much this thing weighs. I didn't check. I should have looked when she grabbed the paperwork, but I didn't. So, it should be alright though. Like I said, we're just going to creep around. You know, the parking lots are probably going to be the worst of everything that I do and have to deal with. You know, backing into spots, especially if there's, you know, not been a trailer there and there's a ton of snow or... I've gotten stuck out there in that drop yard over here to Campbell's one time because they had a bunch of snow that was just packed up under the trailer, but I was able to get out, and it was in this last year. I didn't have any problems. I mean, you know, I sat there and rocked her back and forth for a while. I do have a little shovel that I carry, and I usually carry a salt shaker, and I'll throw some kitty litter in there just in case I need to throw it around, but I, I, the one I have, I just sit at home right now, so it's... Uh, in the back room but hey hopefully won't need it today hopefully i'll be all right i guess we'll hope for the best you know expect the worst but yeah it should be fun by the time i get back they should have that somewhat cleared up so i shouldn't have to worry about it too much and i don't know what lane this guy is going to so we're just going to sit here and crawl behind him i bet he's going to go to one i could probably just slide up next to him and go to three next to him in two. As long as he don't try to cut over. Which he's loaded to the back. He's got his V8. Big balls of V8. What are you doing, dude? Yep, now he's going over to two. Freaking idiot. No, nope, figure it out, bud. Now he's going back over to one. sing the Christmas music but um, it's way past Christmas and I don't really feel like getting that crap stuck in my head so that's what it is well we're just cruising down 6 to the double nickel we're getting ready to come up here to 235 debating on if I want to turn over there and go or not down that road I mean I should check it out just to see it looks like there's a plow chunk down here coming this way and uh, from what it looks like, they probably only made one pass on this road, the plow chunks, was a semi pass him too, so that's cool. But um, that's a state route, and then it turns into 18, and that's a state route, so you'd think they would have at least went down there one time and maybe threw some salt, but uh, who knows. So we're gonna try it out, you know. 110 was, you know, like this. It, there's some blowing and drifting, so it's what it is. But uh, we'll, we'll run it and see what happens, I mean, Worst case scenario, I just go slow. Because like I said, I'm not in a hurry or anything like that. I'd like to see how it looks that way for later on when I'm coming back. Because to go down to 75 and run that, it is about 20 miles out of route. Let me go a little slippage. I can't get up. We're doing it though. And um, if I don't have to, I won't. Because regardless of how fast I'm going down there, I still, you know, I'm still going out around miles. And I'd rather not if I don't have to. But if it's something I have to do, I will. It's not a big deal. I just would rather not. If I can run this in at least 45, 50, I'll be straight. But there's a, there's always a lot of drifting on this. And I'm sure you can see from back there the way the road looks. Hopefully you can. If not, I'll try to, if I got video on that, I'll put that on a little bit, you know, so you can get a little bit of that. But, uh, I mean, it's not too bad. There's at least one, one lane you can see here, but that doesn't mean shit once you get out the middle of the country and uh, it breaks wide open. So at least there has been a plow come down through here when I don't know. Uh, it was done snowing over to Napoleon, but it's still snowing over here a little bit. That system's just moving through it. We're headed down south. 
little slop on it now again, but it didn't melt off enough to where I could see a little strip. Yeah, it looked like you're watching old school TV program when you look out. It's kind of cool, but wow, this doesn't look bad at all. From out there to over here. But still in no hurry or no rush, so. That was only running, you know, 55 the whole time. I didn't really get over 55, maybe 58-ish. When I was coming down six, had somebody pull off in front of me. You know, a ways away, this was enough to where it wasn't like I had to slam on the brakes. I just kept my distance and stayed back. Because when I went to turn off 110 to go on to the on-ramp, that thing was nothing but covered. So, I mean, I was crawling onto that because I didn't want to slide out or anything. And I thought, wow, you, you know, you can see where the plow went down it, but he didn't go from the... Uh, headed east, he was coming west when he went down, he just made a swoop, so of course when you're turning to go this way from the east, it's nothing but like two inches, you know, of snow or however much is out there just packed up and all shoved all over from other cars trying to get in there and kick sideways and whatnot. Stuff kind of grabs you and pushes you a little bit, but I just creep through there. I'd love to catch that snow owl out today with some snow in the background somewhere. I mean, he'd be up on a so it's not like I'd be able to get any radical uh, views of it, but, you know, it'd be cool to catch him in the snow sometime, or while it was snowing, and actually get that in the picture and look for a visual. He's, uh, he's elusive and hard to get, man. Like, I was bummed the other day when he flew away, I really didn't get any good pictures of him, because as soon as I got the camera out and stepped out of the truck, he was gone, but... See, um, it looks like the wind is, I think it's heading, it's north, and on 6, there was a couple spots where you could see it drifting over, but it won't be like that if it's north wind down through here, so that'll be a good thing, and yeah, I, I'll be able to run this all day because it looks great, and if the ball comes down through here one more time, it'll be completely clear, which you think they would, but you never know because it's all Sunday, and they probably figure if they can hit it once, they're good go home watch football but you never know so maybe i'll see some more i do got a guy that i talk to occasionally that works for uh the tow company that pulled me back when i was in the accident he works for the state he drives a plow truck he does about 10 different things and uh, i could probably get a hold of him and see if he's out you know plowing and stuff but ask him where he's at what he's doing how's it going if they're coming back down through here never know. Just never know. So I'll catch up with you when we get back over and uh, get into some parking lot madness. This all seems to be okay. Well, we're over here to uh, Whirlpool Finley and doesn't look like they've done anything to this parking lot, but maybe a couple swipes here from what I see. So Bobcat over there, there's a big tractor over there with a plow, and it looks like they've just hit this freaking parking lot with like one, one pass, and that's it. So uh, we're out here, we are doing it in the snow. Um, everything else is pretty much clear, though. It's honestly sad that this, they're just now getting to this, but they don't. I don't think they do any uh, shipping and receiving on the weekends, really, because there's no yard guys doing any moves or anything like that, so, um, yeah, we're really playing in the snow over here, and we're walking through it, and, uh, yep, there's no path, there's a path over there coming back, but Jesus Christ, get on it, 23775, I think that might be the one I need to get, I don't know, the phone is in my pocket. Now we gotta come back anyway, so maybe by the time we get back, their parking lot will be a little bit nicer. I don't know. Two, three, seven, seven, eight, five. Yes, that's the trailer. But uh, other than that, nothing's not been bad at all. They were uh, giving me a little shit over to Finley. Can't believe you're out in this. Didn't figure I'd see you today. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I figured, my, why not? Why not? 
I'll just back up right here. I don't know. There's a spot over there, too. Yeah, let's, just, let's just back right up there where that snow is cleared out. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, their parking lot wasn't too bad. They pretty much had it all cleaned up and stuff. And uh, the ramp is completely clear except for a couple spots where it's drifting over. It kind of stinks because when the wind blows, blows all the freaking snow. When you're hooking up to drop into containers, blows all the snow off the top and it's blowing right at you. So you're getting blasted with that stuff that's blowing off the top that's just sitting up there. But, I mean, it could be worse. And, I mean, it's still coming down around here, but it's... Uh, not too bad. It's just uh, one of them days. This cute dispatcher asked me before I was taking off. She's like, um, you're not working tomorrow, right? And I'm like, why? Because it's supposed to snow again. I said, yeah, I'll work. Ain't no big deal. Just deal with it. I mean, it's not going to be worse than this. They just won't have the people cleaning the stuff out as much, but that should be fine. Um, yeah, and I guess if I, she can schedule me, if I don't want to work, I just won't work. That's all there is to it. It's not like it's that big of a deal. I'll just tell them, well, I guess they should have loaded the shit on Saturday if they wanted me to work that bad. Because uh, it really wasn't a big deal. Then, I don't know why it is. Ow. So we'll drop this, we'll cruise over there, and we'll hook up, and uh, we'll be back. Yes. This thing looks nasty. Can't see a freaking license plate. Look at all that shit. Look at all that shit, man. Get up in there. Look at all that shit. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, my fifth wheel. All that salt just peels that stuff right off. Barely see those. Just gross. Just gross. Oh, this is why I wouldn't be able to run tomorrow if this shit all froze up on my truck. Got me stuck. Me locked up. Oh my God, on top of those top those air tanks and shit. Look at that. Look at all that, man. I'm gonna need a chisel up under here. Woo! Get it all. Just disgusting. We out here, we just getting it on in the dirty, dirty. One nice thing about these is they're only about 20,000 pounds, so it's, I don't have to worry about sliding no tandems or nothing. So we can just do it and get it done. You know what I mean? It's, that's one nice thing about running these whirlpools. Just get it done. But God, it's just, ugh, just gross. Well, folks, it's the next day and it's snowing again. But uh, we gotta go out to the truck here. I'm not sure I'll run or not because I've got a ton of ice build up everywhere on this thing. And, um, Hopefully my air takes ain't too bad and I can get this thing going, but I guess we'll see. It's only supposed to get colder, so I need to kind of get this crap off, but I'm really not trying to deal with a bunch of idiots out on the road on a Monday, if you know what I mean. So get in there. Look at all that buildup. And everything is just iced up from that crap yesterday. It sucks. Um, couldn't even dump the air last night because that thing was all clogged up. And there's just a ton of stuff down here. So I'm gonna probably try and get some of that off. And I'll probably fire this thing up in about two hours, I don't know. I could just be sitting today. The wife, she's ready to start drinking, which is fine. And uh, you know, if I don't go out, but you know, all this crap, man.
up in there, everywhere, everything. So we'll probably send her some pictures of that. The motor looks good though, because it was about the only thing that was staying warm. But um, yeah, it was chilly yesterday night coming home because it got down to like six degrees. So it was a cold, cold ride home, that's for sure. And I was freezing. Free Zen. Yeah, that stuff just does not want to come off either. So we'll uh we'll see. You know, we got something leaking right there. Which I'll have to get into probably right up in there. No, right there's a little drip. So it could be an interesting day, or it could be a snow day. Haven't had any of those yet this year, so may just have to take one and uh work on this thing in a you know, slowly within a couple days of knocking this stuff off and whatnot. We'll see. Hopefully you enjoyed that yesterday, dealing with the snow. Oh, getting old Frankenstein out doing some stuff in the weather. Always fun. But uh, we'll be back one of these days, sooner and later probably. So until then, you know what we say. We will see ya.